Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy to Learn for Django Tutorials. Today, I will walk you through how to create a new Django project and successfully run the development server in just a few simple steps. Now, let's create a Django project in your terminal. Navigate to the, your folder where you want to create your project and run. Now, I'm going to open VS Code by searching VS Code at run. Here, when you open the terminal in the VS Code, you can see there is a PowerShell, but I'm going to work with command prompt. So how can I select? You just click here and select command prompt. Now you need to create a Django project in your terminal. Navigate to the folder where you want to create your project. Now I want to create my project at D drive by selecting D colon and I'll create one folder called Django training mkdir d Django training I'll move to the particular directory d Django training this is my folder here I want to create a d Django project so for that we have the command d Django hyphen admin followed by you want to create the project followed by start project the project name is I'm going to specify here my project hit enter now you can go to the particular folder you can see in the D drive here you can see a folder is created D Django training and here one folder is created with the name my project containing the manage.py file python file and it has another subfolder with the same name, my project, which consists of many files. Yeah, if you want to open folder, just open folder and where is your file? Go to D drive, Django training, select folder. You can press on S trust. Now here you can observe your folder name is my project, project name, where you can have another folder called my project inside your my project folder you will find these important files let's see one by one in detail the first one is manage.py this is a crucial script in django you will see it to run commands like starting the server creating the apps applying migrations and more it acts as a shortcut to django built-in command the next one is Instead of this my project folder, you can see various files. One is init.py, settings.py, urls.py, asgi.py and wsgi.py. What is init.py? This is an empty file. I am just clicking here. This is an empty file. Tells the python that this folder should be treated as a package. You don't usually edit this file. Now let's move to the settings.py. This is the most important file. It controls your entire Django project. It includes settings for installed apps and database configuration, middleware settings and static files, templates and much more. If you ever need to enable new Django apps, change the database settings or configure the static files, this is the place where you can do this. Next coming to urls.py. This file defines the URLs for your project. Every time a user visits a web page, Django checks this file to see which view should handle it. As you build your project, you will add more URLs here or include them from different apps. The next one is asgi.py and wsgi.py. ASGI stands for Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface. WSGI stands for web server gate interface these files help django communicate with web servers wsgi web server gateway interface is used for deploying django on traditional servers whereas asgi asynchronous server gateway interface supports real-time applications you don't need to modify these files unless you are deploying your project now we need to navigate to your project now let's move to the terminal Go to the command prompt. Now you need to move to the project name my project by writing the command cd 
my project now we are moving to the your project directory to start the django development server use this command python followed by manage.py followed by run server if everything is set up correctly you will see the output like this starting development server at http colon slash slash 127.00.1 and the port is 8000 now open your browser and go to this particular server you should see the django welcome page here is the django welcome page and it indicates that the installation process is successfully completed. Now if you want execute the same, if the port 8000 is already in use, try to run the another port. If you want to change the port, this is another way. I'm going to press Ctrl C to stop the server. If you want to change the port instead of 8000, you want to give you 8080. So I'm going to use python manage.py followed by run server port is 8080 yes now click here go to the browser you see your server is working with the port 8080 that's it folks you have successfully created a new django project and run the development server if you found this video helpful like subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss the update see you in the next video happy coding